Hello and welcome to today's talk about the basics of chromatography. So today I want to jump in the topic of chromatography and explain you a little bit about the basics of it. The technique called chromatography comes from the Greek and says color writing and it was developed by a Russian botanist called Svet around 1900. This technique allows it to separate compounds of a mixture in their individual form. Chromatography underlies a principle that different compounds will distribute unequally due to a different solubility in the solvent. And this different solubility in the solvent leads to a different separation speed. In the example you could see that the bands traveled according to a different speed. Some compounds were more soluble, others were not. Okay, let's keep in mind, different compounds will distribute unequally. Here we see the mobile phase. It's, for example, a liquid. The stationary phase can be solid. In chromatography, in general in paper chromatography, the mobile phase flows now over the stationary phase, as you can see here. And with the mobile phase also each compound of the mixture has different attraction levels to the mobile phase and to the stationary phase. And this leads to a different separation. The light green band on top shows a low attraction to the stationary phase. The orange band indicated by the arrow shows a higher attraction to the stationary phase compared to the greener bands. So the orange band did not travel as fast as the other bands. Responsible for the interaction between a compound and the stationary phase are for example dipole-dipole interactions. These are an example for van der Waals forces. The compounds of the mixture interact differently within a phase. So you can see the green one is more soluble and the orange band is less soluble since it does not travel as far. That was everything about the principles. And now I will sum everything up and give you an example what you could do. So if we have a leaf here and we want to know which kind of molecules are inside this leaf, leading to the green color, we can generate a leaf extract and we can put it on one side of our stationary phase. Once we dip the stationary phase in the solvent, the solvent will spread and run over the stationary phase and with it also the compounds will separate according to different polarities. The upper band, for example, could represent chlorophyll, which just runs faster as beta carotene, for example. That leads to the conclusion that chlorophyll, which runs faster, is more soluble in the mobile phase. Beta carotene is not as soluble as chlorophyll in this mobile phase here. There are many different types of mobile phases. Therefore, choosing a mobile phase can lead to completely different results in the end. All in all, there are a lot of different chromatography types. Now you got the basics of chromatography and this helps you to understand HPLC or TLC much more easily. So that's it for today's talk. Thanks very much for your attention and see you. Bye.